I'm going to teach you guys how to gut load superworms, but different to the way I've done it before, different to everybody else on YouTube. I have got some scientific technology that we're all doing wrong, and I'm going to show you how we can stop it right now. So there's a couple of things you're going to need straight off the bat. You're going to need a couple of tubs. I've got one here, and a bigger one here. You're going to need some of the food to actually feed them. That's what I'm using, the Reptile Systems Insect Food, the a la carte range. Then you're going to need something to go inside one of the tubs, egg crate preferably. I haven't got any, so I've got these Coco Core plant pots. They do the job perfectly fine. Let's start building it together. First of all, get, I'm going to get these little plant pots and stab loads of holes in the sides and stuff. This is just basically for them to give them a bit of extra room so they can climb all over it and stuff like that. Because believe it or not, we're not having substrate within our animals. We'll explain that one further through the video. Now the tedious job, we have got to separate all the superworms out from all this bran. Take every single superworm out, put it into this enclosure, put all the bran in this enclosure. Well, this is 10 pounds worth of superworms right here. How many do you think are actually gonna be in there? Let's count them. 48 in the first tub, 50 in the second tub, 50 in the third tub, 52 in the fourth tub, 60 in the last tub. Then you've got the case of the stuff that come in the actual superworms themselves. This is called bran. Bran is actually really not that good for the insects or for the animals that you're feeding these insects to. Why is that? This has got a substance within it called phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid, if eaten by your superworms and then transferred over to your reptile, can stop your reptile absorbing various minerals such as iron, magnesium, zinc, it could also stop the absorption of calcium within your animal. That's why this is very important. Now this isn't any research done by myself, this is all done by the guys at Reptile Systems. Remember, loads of times I've mentioned how they're not just there for the profit like a lot of other big companies, they're actually there to educate you. This is exactly it. Scientific research that they've done and people higher than them have actually done. But why do the live food companies actually put this within their live food? Why does it come in your superworms? Quite simply because I've spoken to a couple of big live food breeders and big live food companies and they say they would much rather send the live food to you in empty containers with no food. However, when they've done that, they got a load of abuse for saying the animals have got no food, the animals can't eat and all this sort of stuff. So that's why. They give them a bit of food, they sell more products. That's basically it. Uh, but this is also why Gut loading is so vitally important. You want to get these animals out of that brand, which is why Reptile Systems are starting a new trend. Hashtag bin the brand. In the comments down below, we're going to be starting that trend on here. We want to see pictures of you binning your brand. Get creative, do whatever you want. Fancy one, throw it in the bin, in the tip off a cliff. I don't care. Make sure you add a picture, hashtag bin the brand on either Instagram or our Facebook page northern exotics youtube and we're going to go through them in a few weeks you might get a shout out who knows hashtag bin the brand so get your super worms chuck in your egg crate just gives them a little bit of extra surface area to climb on a bit of exercise to maneuver around and then mix up the insect food why this quite simply because it's the best it's got so much stuff packed into it that that is going to give your insects the best possible diet but then in turn give your animal the best possible insects. If your insects are highly gut loaded, full of jam packed nutrition, then that means your animal is eating extremely healthy. But why this? Well, just to list a few of the ingredients that are in this, you've got alpha alpha, that's widely known as a superfood. It's jam packed, it's one of the most superior nutritionalist ingredients that you can add into anything like this. It's got sunflower in it, providing tons of antioxidants and vitamin E. It's got magnesium in it, which is great for healthy bones, but also DNA repair. It's got rose hips in, which is one of the ingredients that can give the highest concentration of vitamin C. It's got dandelion in it, which although it's a gardener's worst nightmare dandelion, it actually gives an amazing source of fiber, vitamins A, E, K, loads of others. It's got hibiscus flowers in it, which has got an antioxidant, which helps repair blood cells and other cells within the actual insects. It's got spirulina in it, which is highly nutritionally dense. So it really is, every aspect of the spirulina is nutrition, minerals, it's just, this has got absolutely everything in it which is gonna benefit your live food, which is then gonna get transferred into your reptile. I highly recommend 
the Reptile Systems Insect Food. It comes in two different sizes. You've got your little tub like that, and you've got little packets just like this, if I put it up the right way. These are less than a dollar. They're less than a pound. I'll stick some links to these down in the description down below. But let's show you how easy this is to actually make up. Welcome to Cooking with Northern Exotics. On today's menu, the Reptile Systems Insect Food. Yeah. I'm dosed up on cold medicine. That's my excuse. That's what I'm going to stick to. You need to get yourself a tub. Now, you can use little shot glasses like this. You can use the little containers that the superworms actually come in. Get yourself a spoon, which I've lost mine. Boom. Found it. Let's go for the tub. This holds 10 feeds with inside it. And the little packets, they hold one feed. A feed will last around about a week, there or thereabouts. It's got colour, it's got colour enhancers built in with it. So it provides your insects with the natural food it would naturally get from the wild. Open up your tub. Now they say these little packets give you one feed. If you actually measure it out, it gives you a lot more than one feed. It says there's 10 grams of stuff in here. There's way more than 10 grams. Pour it into a little container, just like that. They say one spoon of insect food to two spoons of water. Mix it up, that'll give you the perfect ratio for one week. There we go. Then add in the insect food and give it a mix. Once it's all mixed, I like to get the lid from the superworm tub, spoon it straight into the middle. You should get like a paste consistency, but if it is a warm part of the year or it is warm where you are, feel free to add in a little bit more water just to help keep it hydrated through a full week. If this doesn't also just feed your animals, it also gives them a moisture source so they can stay hydrated. There you go, that is the Reptile Systems Insect Food. What you do, you just put it in your tub and leave it for a week. It's got loads of natural colour enhancers within that food, so you will see a noticeable colour difference on your live food. Not because the food die in your live food, because they're getting a natural food that they would naturally have in the wild, bringing out their natural colours. Straight away, they're swarming straight onto it, just having a good old bit of food. That is basically that, leave them for a week and then they're ready to feed to your animals. After a week of gut loading, whack them all in a container. You still need to cover them in the nutrients and that again, where reptile systems have stood up, you've got your calcium ultra and your vitamin. Both extremely vital products. These three products, the insect food, the vitamin, the calcium ultra, will save your animal's life. Dust your insects how you normally would with your normal calcium and vitamin regime go feed your animals and enjoy an extremely healthy animal thanks for tuning in i appreciate you all remember hashtag bin the brand stick your pictures on instagram tag me in it at northern exotics uk or send it to me over on facebook northern exotics youtube we're bound to see it we're going to do another episode showing off all your amazing footage and your videos your pictures to do with hashtag bin the brand what's the most creative way that you can bin the brand